Last year was a milestone. I had turned 50 years old. My workout routine had become stale and uninspiring. It was time to try something new. To my surprise, what I had stumbled on was much more. My name is Joe, and I'm a speed bag addict. From the first few strikes, I was hooked. There was something about the rhythm that just drew me in, and I wasn't the only one. I found the speed bag forum online and hundreds of others with the same addiction. These are people of all ages, men and women alike. From those just getting started to seasoned baggers who can make your head spin with the speed and combinations they are capable of. There's even a yearly gathering in Keyport, New Jersey, where dedicated baggers meet and share new combinations and techniques. My goal is to attend and make a short documentary on this very interesting subject, and I hope you can help me with a small donation. Every little bit helps. The working title is Art of the Bag, and will focus on some of the best speed baggers in the world. They will give us their insight as to why the speed bag is becoming such a popular workout activity. Jimmy Braddock has made a great comeback in the last year with his Max Bear's Challenger, and whose sensational victory confirmed Max Bear's own view before their fight. Since the late 1800s, the speed bag has served as an invaluable training aid to the professional boxer. It develops rhythm and timing, eye-hand coordination, speed, and punching power. But it also appealed to the general public. Speed bag skill exhibitions and demonstrations could be found on vaudeville stages and hometown theaters throughout the world. It wasn't limited to just boxers anymore, but appealed to all genders and ages. An addictive physical activity anyone could do. A great way to stay in shape and work out frustrations along the way. And although still found in the professional boxer's routine, there's a whole new breed of speed bagger. The Bible style bagger. Unlike the traditional form of speed bag training, what's become known as the Bible style puts all sides of the bag, all directions, and even elbows into the mix. This modern version of speed bagging has reached a wide audience via YouTube, the speed bag forum, various publications, and a yearly speed bag gathering. Hidden away in basements, garages, backyards, and spare rooms around the world, on homemade and store-bought equipment, speed bagging has fast become a very popular activity. Come along as we explore this growing phenomenon and get to the root of this addiction. <laughs>